What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Guys, I have a really cool and interesting tutorial that I want to share with you guys and I think this is a really cool effect that you guys can do on your music videos or just to spice up your clips in general. Now I did first get this effect from a YouTuber of course and I will uh, put it on the screen right now. Alright guys, so the effect of course comes from uh, Quadeca, I believe that's his YouTube channel's name. This music video, uh, Quadeca Clouded Up, is a perfect example of how to do a Luma Fade gradient color effect. And this is really cool because you can kind of spice up your uh, Luma Fade effects and make them look really cool. And I'm going to show you how to do this effect right here where he's going through um, this little car scene where he's on the car. And then on the outside, you can see that there is a bunch of, uh, let me go back a little bit. Th those are a bunch of masking effects. But this one here is where he's just riding um, the car and stuff. And on the sides, of course, the forest is going to be green. And so he just added a really cool like Luma fade to that using a gradient below it. And I'm going to show you how to do that in Final Cut Pro 10. So let's go ahead and jump right into Final Cut Pro 10. All right, guys. So this is the effect that I created for you guys before you, uh, you know, before I even started with a tutorial. And that is this right here. And I'm going to push play so you guys can see what it looks like. So same thing applies here. You can do this, of course, in Premiere. And the same thing works in Final Cut Pro 10. Of course, I think... Uh, in Final Cut Pro 10, it's a lot easier. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go into the gradient. So go into the, uh, make sure you enable the side panel here. Go to the titles and generators. Go to generators by clicking here. Then go to the gradient one here and just drag that below the clip. And then from here, I'm going to trim this down to fit the video. And I'm going to click on the gradient and I'm going to change the colors. So I'm going to change the blue and the white. And I'm going to show you what these parameters are. So the type, you can change this, uh, the type to a linear or a radial. A radial is going to be, you know, like a circle. And then a linear is going to be um, straight line, straight horizontal lines. I like linear, but you can do radial if, if you want. So I'm going to do linear. And I'm going to do the first color here. You can change it using val uh, num numerical values if you want. But I'm not going to because that's a little bit hard. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to change the color of the value. So I'm going to change the first color which was kind of like a, a light blue to an orange and i'm going to increase the saturation of this i think it's saturation unless i'm wrong but i'm going to go with the orange ish color and then for color two which is kind of our main color you can switch these around too if you don't if you like i'm going to do purple and i'm going to increase this as well so we kind of have like a Kind of like a purple to orange gradient, okay? Now, if I change this to radial, you will see that this is going to change it to a circle, which I don't like, but you can if you want. Then here you have iMovie gray gradient. You can change that if you want it to just be a normal gray, ugly gradient. You can do that, but I don't. Now, over here in the actual uh, video portion of it, you're going to have this straight kind of a vertical line with two circle. Click on either of the ends, and here you can change the, the length of the gradient. So we can't see what we're doing, though, so we're going to add a Luma Fade. So go to uh, the, the effects and type in Luma Fade, or Luma Keyer, sorry. Uh, type in Luma Keyer and drag that onto uh, the first clip, okay? So now when you add it to the main clip or the top clip where you have your actual footage, you're going to have this going on. It looks cool, but we're going to change some values here. So over in the Luma here, in the inspector window, we're going to go into Luma and we're going to change the highlights and we're going to bring that down. There's not much color in the highlights anyways because it's the sky is like white, kind of blue. And we only want to specifically target the green. So we're going to bring down the highlights here and we're going to bring this up over there. You kind of want to bring them as close as you can next to each other. So like you can go like this, okay? And the closer you bring them to the left side over here on the highlights and you bring the shadows towards the highlights, they're going to kind of clash together. So you kind of have the you kind of have this um, cool looking effect going on. And we're going to go around here, but not we don't want it to be too crazy. So something like that looks pretty good. We're then going to go into the mat tools and in the mat tools, we're going to go to fill holes. You can increase this. So there's more particles when you increase the fill holes. Uh, so I'm going to increase that just a tad, not too much. 
Now in the edge distance, um, you can increase that if you want. Uh, I don't really see a much of a difference, but that just kind of makes the edges um, a little bit further apart. Uh, in the levels though, you can change how this is gonna look like. So in the highlights, we're gonna bring this down right there, and then in the midtones, we can increase the, we can increase the, the midtones to the right or to the left, depending on how you know how bright you want this to be. Uh, I'm gonna bring it to the right a little bit, and then in the shadows, you can increase that or leave it how it is. I'm gonna just leave that how it is. Shrink and expand. This just allows you to pretty much make it less noticeable. Um, in this case, I'm just going to leave it how it is at zero. And you can soften this a bit if you want. It's going to make it blurry, just letting you know. Uh, I increase this just a little bit to like 0.25 or something, 2.4. And here in the mix, you can change the pretty much the opacity of this. I don't ever change that, okay? So now if we go back, you can see how that looks like. Um, you go ahead and tweak this a bit to make it look how you want it. Um, this does, of course, take a little bit of time. Um, so I'm gonna go here and maybe increase this around there. Sweet. So now we got the main thing set, but the problem is it's also affecting the temple or this left side of the video, and we don't want that. We only want the greens to be affected. So we're gonna have to add a draw mask. Now I tried finding a way to only mask out the color itself, but I couldn't find a way to do that unless you guys know a way. Please tell me down in the comment section below. But this is another workaround as well, and that is by using masks. So just type in mask and add the draw mask to that top clip, okay? Then uh, before you go any further, go ahead and make a copy of that video. So select the top clip, press Command C, and paste it to the right side, and add that on top, okay? So we're gonna press Shift Z to fit it to the timeline. Select the top clip and go to the inspector window and then go ahead and get rid of the effects. So I'm gonna just uh, get rid of the effects by clicking on the effects check mark and now you don't have any effects on the top clip. So once you guys have done that, we're actually gonna move the draw mask from the second clip to the first clip. So get rid of the draw mask on the second clip, go back and add the draw mask on top of the copied layer that we, pa that we paste it on top, okay? So once we've done that, we're gonna go and change this. So we're gonna bring this down to 25%. Sweet, so once we've done that, we're just gonna mask out this temple here. So just do your best, it can be a rough outline. It doesn't really matter because we're gonna add some feathering to this. And we're gonna go something like that over here and just select the temple. So now you have this, uh, the, the video that's playing beneath. So. Now we can go ahead and change the size to fit and tweak this a little bit to make it fit. Um, it doesn't have to be exact because we're gonna go into the draw mask tool and in the feather, increase this all the way to the right and then drag this to the left, okay? So do something like this, click on the draw mask, start moving the control points. So what I like to do is I go onto the control points right here. So we're gonna start adding some keyframing so that the actual gradient luma fade or luma keyer doesn't affect the temple. So we're gonna go to the control points and we're gonna click this little plus icon and we're gonna kinda skim through the video here and we're gonna start moving this down like that and just kinda do that throughout the video. All right guys, so it is almost finished rendering out here. Uh, the reason I have to render is just because so it plays back without any lag or anything. So let's go in and uh, click off of this and see what this looks like once it's finished. So I'm gonna push play and you're gonna see how cool that looks. Uh, like I said, it's a Luma, it's a Luma Keir kind of a gradient effect. And of course, towards the end, um, I kind of got lazy and I didn't wanna do the rest of the keyframing, but you guys get the idea, right? Uh, if I push play, you can see what it looks like. Now, if you don't have the draw mask, or if you're feeling lazy and you don't wanna add a draw mask, this is what your clip would look like. And it doesn't look that good, to be honest. Um, I would suggest you guys go ahead and just spend 30 minutes, maybe, uh, to add uh, some keyframes and just mask it out, pretty much. All right, so I'm gonna go and add a LUT and a letterbox, so it's super, super easy. It makes it look really cinematic, so I'm gonna add custom LUT. And then the last thing is I'm going to add a letterbox. And then I'm going to add this on top and do that. So now we have this really cool looking keyer to this. And it looks super cool. Like I said, um, you can do a whole bunch of stuff with this. 
And yeah, so if you guys found this video helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like. That'd be awesome. Comment down below, down, and just leave uh, whatever you guys want to see next. And uh, I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace out, guys.